بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن سم آف دا امپورٹنٹ وکیبلری ورڈس فرام ون آف دا فیمس ناولس ان دا ہسٹری ٹو کل اے ماکنگ برڈ لیٹس بگن ود دا ورڈس دا ویری فرسٹ ورڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن از ٹراٹ ٹراٹ از اے ناؤن اٹ از آلسو یوزڈ ایز اے ورب Trot means a moderately fast gait of a quadruped such as horse in which the legs move in diagonal pairs. A quadruped has four legs. You can see in this picture. The horse is moving forward and its diagonally opposite legs are moving in pair. Such as this leg is moving in pair with this one. and this leg is moving in pair with this leg another meaning of trot is a jogging gait of a human that falls between a walk and a run jogging is neither so fast like a run and nor so slow like a walk it falls in between walk and run so the jogging gait of a human is also known as trot another meaning is a mean or ugly old woman or a literal translation of a foreign text when trot is used in plural for example trots trots mean diarrhea abnormally frequent intestinal evacuations to drive or proceed at a trot or to proceed briskly for example a horse trotted past us What are the other words which we can use in place of trot are jog, run, hurry, sprint or trip. Let's have a look on some of the phrasal verbs and idioms derived from the word trot. Trot out is a phrasal verb. It means to give the same excuse, facts, explanations for something that have been used before. For example, they trotted out the same old excuses for the lack of jobs in the area next we will see an idiom on the trot on the trot means one after the other for example they have now won three games on the trot its synonym is succession they have now won three games on the trot means they have now won three games in succession means one after the other on the trot also means busy all time for instance i have been on the trot all day the second word we are going to learn is hatchet hatchet is a noun and it means a short handled axe often with a hammer head to be used with one hand for example our people had to literally use hatchets to cut through the forests now we'll see some other nouns for example hatchet job hatchet job means criticism intended to harm somebody such as the press did a very effective hatchet job on her last movie another example is hatchet man hatchet man means a person employed by an organization to make changes that are not popular with the other people who work there hatchet faced is an adjective it means a person having a long thin face and sharp features and looking unfriendly such as a villain in the movie here is an idiom containing the word hatchet bury the hatchet to stop not being friendly and become friends again for example after not speaking to each other for years the two brothers decided to bury the hatchet next word we are going to learn is nocturnal nocturnal is an adjective and it means relating to or occurring in the night or active at night such as nocturnal insects such as mosquitoes or a nocturnal journey the journey which is occurring at night 
he bought a new telescope so he could pursue his favorite nocturnal hobby of astronomy synonyms of nocturnal are night nightly or night time its antonyms are daily or diurnal next word is predilection if you have a predilection for something you like it very much or an established preference for something usually you prefer those things which are important for you or you like those things for example an artist with a predilection for bright colors or a predilection for spicy food if you like sweets and you prefer them eating most of the times you can rephrase the sentence as a predilection for sweets let's have a look on some other words which we can use in place of predilection liking and preference next word is cussed cussed is an adjective and it means not willing to be helpful or cursed awkward or annoying for example that cussed cat once again woke us up last night synonyms are stubborn and obstinate next word is torment torment is used as a noun and also as a verb it means extreme pain especially mental pain it also means to annoy a person or an animal in a cruel way or to make somebody suffer very much for example she liked me but she laughed at me and tormented me means that way of laughing gave that person a mental pain to have a better understanding we will look on another sentence she suffered years of mental torment after her son's death or love is a delight but hate is a torment he was tormented by feelings of insecurity what are some other words which we can use in place of torment anguish or torture when someone is tormented it means the person is facing mental torture as you can see in this picture this is a depiction of hell where people are being tormented the next word we are going to learn is holler holler is used as a verb and as a noun as well it means to shout loudly or shout or cry or complain as you can see in this picture the kid is shouting for example she was hollering her daughter's name or give a holler if you need any help what are some other words which we can use in place of holler they are cry hoot howl or shout eighth word we are going to learn in this video is bedeck bedeck is an adjective and it means to decorate something or somebody with flowers flags or precious stones or to clothe with finery as you can see in this picture the table is decorated with flowers let's have a look on the example sentence she bedecked the house with hundreds of miniature lights for the party or a flower bedecked balcony now we will see some other words which we can use in place of bedeck these are adorn array beautify or decorate next word is umbrage it means an indistinct indication vague suggestion or hint or a reason for doubt or suspicion or a feeling of resentment at some often fancied slight or insult or to feel offended hurt or upset by something often without a good reason that means it is usually used in negative or disapproving way for example he took umbrage at her remarks synonym is offense next word is tranquil tranquil is an adjective tranquil means quiet and peaceful it also means free from agitation of mind or spirit as you can see in this picture a person is practicing yoga sea is smooth and the whole scene is looking so peaceful 
unvarying in aspect or steady or stable is also a meaning of tranquil now we will see some examples the tranquil waters of the lake means the peaceful waters of the lake she led a tranquil life in the country the island is heaven for the tourist who wants sun and sea in tranquil settings what are some other words which we can use in place of tranquil are calm peaceful placid quiet serene this was the part 1 in the next part we will learn some other vocabulary words from the same novel to kill a mockingbird please like the video subscribe the channel and write down in the comment section below about your suggestions and feedback thank you for watching Thank you.